Welcome to the Circuit News. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. As the highly anticipated Barbie movie hits theaters, let's rewind to the very beginning of the story. It all started with Mattel, the creative powerhouse behind one of the most iconic toys of all time. We're taking you behind the scenes where engineers help bring Barbie to life. Since the first little girl ever existed, there have been dolls. Our journey begins with Ruth Handler, the co-founder of Mattel, who was inspired by watching her daughter Barbara playing with paper dolls. But as they say, behind every great idea, there's an engineering mastermind. Jack Ryan was a former missile engineer who traded rockets for dolls. Yes, you heard that right. Jack brought his skills and passion to Mattel, forever changing the course of history. Barbie, with her twist and turn waist and fashionable outfits, was born from an engineer's creative thinking. Today, engineers at Mattel are still revolutionizing the way that toys are born. Now, they're using 3D printers. It starts with the designers and sculptors collaborating, and then eventually it produces a digital file that we send to 3D printing to prove out both the aesthetics, the scale, but also the function, and make sure we have something that's going to be eventually a wonderful product that hits the store shelves. Mattel not only bring dreams to life with 3D printed perfection, but they're also bridging the gap between art and science. Barbie color reveal? What's new? Using the magic of chemistry, the color reveal Barbie unleashes a kaleidoscope of hidden hues. Joining us now is Kenna O'Brien, Senior Design Manager of Barbie. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Yeah, so tell us about how the color reveal Barbie works. This Barbie is very unique. It comes with a water-soluble coating, and how it works is that you take water and you fill up this tube, which was designed by our packaging partners, all the way up to a fill wine, and then you take the doll, you simply insert her into the tube. Sometimes there's some spillage. Things get messy a little bit, huh? <laughs> we say about 30 seconds of okay. swishing. You pull her out. Wow. And you have revealed, and in this case, we got the kitty cat doll. Awesome. How did this idea come to life? So this idea came out of a brainstorm. Um, I was a new manager at, on Barbie mm -hmm. and the team said, what if we went to the chem lab and asked them if we did a completely color change doll? And that's where chemists come into play. Color Blue Barbie has water soluble paint. Unlike original paint, this wash off with water. And then we've got a second technology called thermochromic pigment, which changes color with temperature. The doll swirled around in a warm water, presenting it in its warm state. And then the child has some play after that with cold water, which creates different makeup, streaks in the hair, things like that. So that is repeat play which is very cool. Of course, engineers are also masterminds of playtime at Mattel, creating innovative ways to package toys that shatter preconceived notions of how unboxing is done. We make sure that um, as kids are brushing her hair or changing out any kind of clothes, um, they may get a little rough with um, playing with our dolls. So a lot of our dolls go through a lot of pull testing to make sure that they can withstand um, that play pattern. The creativity doesn't end there. Engineers at Mattel put their skills to the test to create a strong enough packaging that even when it's really hot inside shipping containers, the plastic packaging won't melt or warp out of shape. Speaking of plastic, here at Mattel, innovation meets environmental responsibility. And what better way to show that than with these Barbie loves the ocean dolls. Mechanical engineers were the key to turning recycled plastic collected from Yucatan, Mexico into an eco-friendlier Barbie doll. The part of making the doll recyclable is it had to use only one single material to do the whole thing. Right now in production, the, the regular doll uses well, like four or five different plastics in it. And that material they recycle from their mill jugs, it's weaker than the regular plastic we use in production. So we had to really beef everything up and just re-engineer the connectors. Another point uh, with using the milk jugs is that, you know, these materials are recycled. They're not made to be like toy grade. And so we had to do a lot of testing to ensure that, you know, they can use in a toy and it's safe. Um, but it's the worst. Barbie isn't just any doll. Throughout history with each new version, her story mirrored headlines.
capturing the essence of the times. The first model went on display in March 1959 at the annual Toy Fair in New York City. While the U.S. was racing to land a man on the moon, astronaut Barbie beat them to it in 1965, the first of over 250 careers she would have in the next 60-plus years, including an interactive line of robotic engineers that teaches girls to code. And in the magical world of Barbie, where melodies dance and voices spring to life, this is where sound engineers at Mattel orchestrate symphonies of laughter and give each toy its unique voice. Imagine your feelings are fluffy clouds. Now let's breathe in and out. It's a, it's a very particular play pattern because it's actually going to walk the kid through a guided meditation and timed breathing exercises. As early as possible, we start working with the electronics engineers. The smaller the cavity of Barbie is, the smaller the speaker has to be, and the better, the more important it is that that matches. And as soon as possible, getting it onto the chip in the first shot of the body so that we can actually hear how it's going to perform. I am strong. As we explored the world of engineers at Mattel, we witnessed the embodiment of Ruth Handler's vision and the power of imagination and possibility. So whether you're an engineer or an enthusiast, the true essence of engineering lies not in building mere objects, but in crafting dreams that inspire us to be anything we desire, just like Barbie herself. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining us on the Circuit News. Don't forget to like this video and follow us at Circuit News TV.